Good morning, everyone. If you're just watching me for the first time, I am Tanya Milano, a parent coach, and I am coming live today at 9.30 a.m., and I am pretty sure I'm switching my live time to this time every day, uh, 9.30 a.m., Eastern time. So it's pretty early for all my friends on the West Coast. Um, so you can watch the video anytime during the day. That's what I'm going to be doing. So this is where I come and talk about parenting support and specifically how to manage your big emotions and um, how to self regulate so that you can show up present for your children and they can develop the skills that they need to um, be emotionally regulated people in the world. We are raising a generation of resilient children. So it's really exciting work. I love what I do. I hope you will follow along on my YouTube channel. If you're not over there already, Tanya Milano Parent Coach is my YouTube channel. And if you are not in my Facebook community yet, that is where we do the work of daily self-care. How do we mamas take care of ourselves daily so that we can keep going and not come from a place of reactivity. So what the Facebook group is called is Reactive to Relax, Self-Care Without the Mama Guilt. And it is all about putting your oxygen mask on first, learning your own emotional landscape first so that we can um, develop the skills with our children. So get over in that Facebook group if you're not already in there. Tons of self-care um, and daily embodiment, mindfulness. Uh, we keep each other accountable in there. So come join us. All right. So today I want to talk about um, the next challenge we have in that Facebook group. So another reason to come into the Facebook group is I have free challenges throughout the year. And if you're watching this later, the challenges always live in the guide section. So you can go over into the guide section, do some of the challenges that I have in there for free and dive a little bit deeper into your, um, like I said, your self-care and your emotional regulation, self-regulation. So next week is the how to listen to your heart in parenting challenge. Listening, Listen to your heart is what I'm calling it. It's a five-day challenge. Um, we are, I'm diving deep into, let me get the book. So I was inspired to do the challenge because of the book, um, Atlas of the Heart by Brene Brown. <laughs> it's also a big part. What she goes into is a huge part of my coaching. So the different parts of emotional triggers um, is what I help coach parents with. But she talks about the mapping, the making meaning of your emotional landscape. So um, we are going to go through um, bits and pieces of that because when you have a reaction, an emotion, there is a backstory. There is biology happening in your body. Um, so we're getting back out of the mind and into the body, which is what um, our kids do. Our kids bring body stuff to us and we have lost the capacity or we never developed the capacity to really be with their, their um, dysregulation. So um, that challenge is going to be a lot of fun. And then there's also the book club. If you want to join the book club, I will be meeting twice to talk about the book um, on Sundays the February 20th and February 27th. So all this information is in my Facebook group and, um, and over in the, in the description of this video, there is, you know, I didn't put the workbook, but I made a workbook to go with this. So, um, I post the workbook link in my Facebook group. I'll also put it on my page. 
If you're on my email list, I emailed out the workbook so you can grab the workbook that goes with the challenge. And um, yeah, so lots of fun stuff. There's also a link to a self-love yoga class. So if you want to join me next Friday, it's kind of the last day of the challenge. We can do some yoga together. If you can't be live, I will email you the recording of that class. It will be about a um, 40-minute class. So you can do it anytime over the weekend if you can't make it with me Friday live. So lots of fun stuff this week. I love love. <laughs> I love February because of the love. My kids just went to school. They're going to be celebrating, giving you know, their friends their Valentines. They just love this. So um, it's a it's a fun month. So it and it can be quite hard if you don't have a self love practice. So let me support you with that. Um, okay. So enough about that stuff. <laughs> I want. I actually want to talk about something. I wrote some things down. So. This is, this is why self-love is one of the reasons why self-love in our parenting can be so difficult to find. So I just want you to take a moment, pause the video if you need to, think back to when you were about to become a parent or even before being a parent, the hopes, the dreams, the, the big ideas you had for your kids, kind of that excitement. So if you need to pause the video and really think back or find the baby pictures of your baby, um, when you first had that baby, what were the feelings you had, right? There was like this limitless possibility, kind of a blank slate. And it's so easy to forget this in our parenting. We get so wrapped up in the day-to-day -day stuff and, um, this came up in a coaching call this week and someone was saying, oh, it was really hard to do this practice and think of that clean slate when you've got so much shit, so much shit going on in life, right? Like no matter what age your kids are, it is very hard to go back to that sense of excitement and wonder that you had with that baby. Um, even, it literally, it could be you're up to your eyeballs and shit, right? Diapers or my son, ugh, man, I had to throw some underwear away this week because he just, you know, I won't go into details. But when you're in that mucky part of parenting, it is really hard to remember back to this place. So take a little bit of time today or this weekend to really go back to the baby part, the before all this stuff before all the the muck okay it's really important to really get back to why we love being a parent and this is what we'll go into in the challenge next week um and the thing is we get into this place of i should be i should be um the best parent i should know what i'm doing i should have all the answers and that's when we start to self-aggress. We beat ourselves up for not being, you know, not living up to our standards, our high expectations. Um, so noticing that inner voice, that inner critic is really important to your um, listening to your heart and getting back to that self-love place. Um, and one more thing before I get off here that I wrote down is really important. As young as a young mom, I was like, yeah, I should know. I should know how to do this. Like I'm reading the books. I and I wanted to do things differently than my parents had done it. I wanted to be uh, go into attachment parenting and gentle parenting and breastfeeding and all of this stuff that was really important to me, my high values. And so to me and and my parents weren't people that asked for support or help. They, they try to do everything themselves. So that was my parenting template. I'm going to do everything myself to the point of not even really involving Tanner as much as I could have. <clears throat> and also he was a really involved dad. Let me just tell you, like even in the baby phase, like he did it all with me. But the fact that I wouldn't even understand I had needs 
right? And to ask for people to be there. Um, we, when we moved, when my daughter was young, so we, I didn't have a lot of close friends yet. And my mother-in-law was sick. She helped when she could, but I didn't have, like, I didn't ask for the help that I really needed until I started making a close community of friends. And that's when it became really important to trade. <laughs> this is what trade your kids with each other. Use your friends. You need the time to take care of yourself. If your friends asked you to babysit their kids or to, to help them with something, wouldn't you do it for them? So you can seek the support you need. Ask your friends to take the kids for the day. You know, you need that support in your life. You, We are not built to do everything ourselves. It is not humanly possible to do it all. <coughs> so I wanted to bring that up because actually tonight, I moved to a new place now and I don't have as many people that I can call on. All of my friends are two hour, an hour or two hours away. Families farther away now. So when I moved here, I started to um, reach out to some of my kids' friends, right, to become, to build that network. And actually they, um, two of my friend, my daughter's friends are coming over after school because they reached out and asked me if the kids could come over after school so that they could do something. One of them is actually um, sick with high blood pressure in, in the hospital. The other one has their other kid going to a grandmother and was like, hey, I could ask my other child to go somewhere so that my husband and I can do something. Same thing with tomorrow night. Um, we have a dinner that we want to go to. We haven't had date nights in months because we don't have anybody here. We haven't found a babysitter yet. Um, and often, oftentimes we don't even have the money to do that. So tomorrow night, we're going to a dinner for my husband's work. And I asked my daughter's other friend if my kids could come over there, right? And they said, yeah, sure, send them over and then we'll pick them up after dinner. Use people in your life to support you. And when you start to look for support, other people will feel comfortable to do that too. Mamas, we have to be there for each other. We have to, okay? It is crucial. Moms are burning out. And what is going to happen when our kids don't have a mom, okay, or, <coughs> or a dad, you know, that is fully able to take care of themselves and take care of them, okay? So think about it this weekend and join my challenge if this is like, whew, I really need to work on some, some of this. Come in the Facebook group, join the challenge. Oh, one more thing before I get off of here that I didn't mention. If you really need a community and it is not happening for you where you are, this is my online community of moms. Ohm in the Home Revolution is where we get together. We go through how to take care of ourselves, how to show up for our children, how to break the generational stress response in the family. And there we get together every week, if you want to, online. To, to work to coach and to talk together about our parenting ups and downs. So this is my community, Home in the Home Revolution. Message me, founding member, if you want to, to talk about what it is. We can discuss um, if it's a right fit for your family. I can talk about, you know, the pricing right now is 90% off of what it's going to be because I want you in there for life. It's not a monthly membership, although I can give you a monthly payment plan. Once you're in, you're in. This is a community of people that we're bringing together. And once you're a parent, you're a parent. And you go through different parts of your life where you need different things in this community. Okay. And also the yoga club is part of it you get the yoga club as a bonus. So I just added the yoga club into the Home of the Home Revolution. It's a bonus addition. So once you join the community, you also get the yoga app with all the videos. 
for yourself and there are some videos for your kids. So I had to say that before I jumped off. Let me know if you're interested. We'll talk and you can decide if you're in or out. All right, I will have um, another live Monday morning and have a great